Hello again guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Toy Box figure which is which appeared in Wave 2, which I accidentally missed, and that is the Marvel Toy Box Black Panther for the new Black Panther movie. Now this is number 5 in the series, and it has Vibranium Concussive Blast, one is in which is his hand, and one which is not in his hand, uh, kind of hindered by the uh, name tag. He have his name on this side, the warning choky hazard for the young ones, ages 3 and up, Marvel Toy Box logo, Disney Store logo with that beautiful castle. Here's one side that says Marvel, other side Black Panther, based on Infinity video game, Disney. Here's the top, and the bottom with the pamphlet insert, which I think it's going to be the same as the other one. And here's the back with Black Panther, which i now reviewing. Finally caught one just in time. Black Widow, which I also have, and Captain America, which I also have, but not the original version. The Winter Soldier version with uh, the Winter Soldier. The Disney Store is proud to introduce the Marvel Toy Box range of action figures, bringing adventures to life with characters from across the Walt Disney Company. And here's the bottom with the UPC. Okay, so now that we've got him out of the package, let's take a look at his... Body first, then the articulation, then the accessories. This nice artwork, which I'm going to keep. Nice Avengers logo on the back there. And let me check this pamphlet over there. Because I'm assuming it's going to be the same as the one that I showed you in a separate video that came in my funnels video. If you haven't seen the video, I'll leave a link to him in the description below and the pamphlet insert if you missed it. Which I'm assuming is the same. Yep, it is. Yep. Yep, that's the same. Now, taking a look at this Black Panther, we have a nice cartoony style based on the new Black Panther movie. I haven't seen the new movie, but I think I might see it. So, here's this nice necklace, which is actually sculpted in with this nice silver paint. I kind of wish it was metallic, same for this, and that buff tough arm, and that knee caps. I wished it was, so that it could make it really stylistic. So will just the head. I kind of wish that, but it's okay. Now as far as y'all know, the actor Black Panther Chadwick Boseman just passed away four months ago, or three months ago I believe. Well... This is one way to mourn his death and also to wish him his 44th birthday, which happened about three or four weeks ago. Now let's take a look at articulation. Now taking a look at articulation, the head rotates 360 degrees as most figures do. It has a slight up and down joint, which is over there, which would make him look up. This is full up. So you can have a flying like Iron Man or other stuff like that that like look up in the sky and fold down I think it's very flat the arm rotates 360 degrees has shoulder joint that goes up allowing him to do the uh, typical T pose let's see really liking that now his elbow single joint it so it can move up and down like you can wave his hand and it also rotates 360 degrees and his hand rotates to 360 degrees and goes up and down. Well, it's kind of cool that this hand is a claw and this hand is a holding hand. That's a nice touch on that. Now, his waist pivots 360 degrees and it's kind of skinny if you notice that. And his legs go that far forward. Not back at all because of this butt thing, like which is very big and it hinders the articulation and make him go back at all. Awesome splits though. And, and for his knee, it's single jointed and bends about 90 degrees, kind of stiff. And it rotates around and it goes back about this side. That plastic piece is hindering the articulation, so never go this way because you might break the knee. So be careful about that. And his foot goes up, down, and also has ankle pivoting, as you can see. Now let's take a look at the accessory. And now... And now for the accessories, we get two Vibranium Concussive Blasts. One is meant for the right hand, which cannot fit onto his left hand, which is a claw. 
and this one meant for the left hand or the right hand. I'm not sure how you use this though. So let's use the this one for the right hand. So as you can see, you could just stick it onto his hand right there, just like so. Just twist the thing a little. Just twist the thing a little, the blast a little bit, and there you go. Black Panther shooting up vibranium blasts. And if you use this on the left hand, it's kind of weird because his fingers and this cannot really fit. So, so let's take a look at this. So, this one can actually fit inside there. Not sure how. So, like, you can have it like this. Which is pretty cool. You could, like, smack. Like, scratch people. And then also, you could try for the right hand, as you can see over there. Now, I'll show you some cool poses. And here's some fun poses for you guys, which I'll take more pictures of, of him. All right. Now for my review on this toy. Here are many positives to note about this one. Nice levels of articulation, nice accessories, nice looking sculpt. And the negatives are the uh that they didn't include the metallic paint in this and the uh tiny uh, hinges in the uh, hips. I'm trying to break them. But I'm very careful of him. But that's okay. I'll try to be very delicate with it at times. Uh, the other negatives is that they... It was very hard for the... Uh, this vibranium concussive blast to fit into his claw hand. Well, I think my overall score is about 8 to 10. So... If you like this Black Panther, definitely get him. Order soon on Amazon UK or your local Disney store if you still have one. Thanks for watching and peace.